Hello everyone, I'm Brian, and today I'm going to be reacting to Chinmayananda Gita, chapter 14, verse 5, coffee example. My attention uh, was spotted on coffee, I was like, I gotta do this. <laughs> I don't know what it's about, let's go ahead and get started. Nobody in the world or living being who has not got the gunas. All the three gunas are in everyone. A professional murderer and a wretched... Uh, uh, man, evil-minded man, even he has got sattvic moods. Even the greatest saint and sage has moments of tamas and rages. All the three put together is called the human personality. Um, <clears throat> clearly I missed the beginning portion of this. I'm assuming these are like tendencies or desires probably um, and this is something I kind of also in a sense I won't say preach but <laughs> say like we're humans we're not going to be perfect we have to understand we make mistakes but we have to try to minimize mistakes and learn from our mistakes never can there be only one coffee means three things decoction milk and sugar Three things mixed together is normal coffee, not American coffee. American coffee is anything they put there, some black powder, and keep on burning, I mean boiling, till <laughs> evening, and take it a little. What are you doing? Coffee. That's how I serve my coffee, although I don't put sugar in it. I put coffee, milk, and uh, stevia, or t uh, it's... Stevia, supposedly. That is the tragedy of this country. Never mind. Real coffee is made artistically by mixing these three and then you take coffee. Now, right. Now, even though this coffee contains only three things, if you on a Saturday or a Sunday visit four or five friends, Hindu friends, Indian friends, Indian friends when you are and you, when you visit, whatever be the time or the day, they will not allow you to go out without coffee. That's true. Come on, let us have a little coffee. <laughs> no, 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 I don't want it. I just now had, never mind. I just now had food. Good digestion. Coffee is good. <laughs> no, no, I have just now go and take food. Very good is a appetizer. <laughs> yes. Any, you won't be allowed to go without taking coffee. You go in four or five places, take coffee, every coffee contains the three, but no two coffees are the same. Thai. Go to a South Indian coffee, I mean man, the coffee is coffee, but it is all decoction. Milk pot and sugar pot have been brought around it, <laughs> not inside it. That is called the South Indian coffee. <laughs> Gujarati. Go there, ayya. The milk, the sugar the when you are putting, it just gone for you. Sugar, oh sugar. Punjabi coffee. A cup or glass of milk and one drop of coffee, one end, and the sugar. I hate to say this, but I've been... <clears throat> Whenever I make my coffee, um, I used to do, oh man, I wish, let's just say it this way, I used to do, so, uh, I do 8 ounces of coffee and 4 ounces of milk, or 240 milliliters of coffee and about 120 milliliters of milk, and then with, um, with the sugar that I have, I think I would do about 10 grams of the sugar that I have with that mix. I don't know if that's a lot. That's about right for me, especially with uh, the milk and coffee uh, mixture. The the milk really smooths out the coffee. If it's just straight up coffee, I, I add a little bit more of that sugar. And it's, it's not true sugar, it's, it's erythritol and some hints of stevia. Stevia is expensive, super sweet, so... And also, you, you know, you don't your body doesn't process these types of uh, sugar in a way. 
So the only real calories there is the milk. But now I'm 50-50. I'm 240, 240 mils of coffee and 240 mils of milk. Or just, just basically a one-to-one -one ratio. And then still... Uh, and still... 10 mils, uh, sorry, 10 grams of the stevia or the erythal stevia mixture because it's not pure stevia at all. Stevia is super expensive, I guess. I don't know, but yes, <laughs> just and I'm, I'm if I have an addiction right now, it's milk. I don't know why. A cup of glass of milk and one drop of coffee <laughs> in one end and sure, and that coffee they won't shake it because it will spread and then take that milk only. <laughs> Coffee is only a witness <laughs> that I am here. <laughs> Meaning, the proportion of one to the other give different tastes. In the same way, these three gunas are in every one of you, but the preponderance of one over the other gives the various tastes, the various performances, various perfume of your personality. Now let us have some music. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's kind of funny. And I, I even tried, uh, say, 240 mils of milk, 120 mils of coffee, and s and then maybe 5 to 10 grams of, uh, of the stevia mix. Oh, man, that tastes like... It tastes pretty good. I will I will say that I go to Dunkin's. That's I spoil myself by going to Dunkin' Donuts and getting their. Sorry, this seems to be like a coffee discussion more than uh, anything else. <laughs> Just how I prefer coffee. Dunkin' Donuts, their signature latte, the ice signature latte without the ice. And I get that. I spoil myself with that. That's my that's that's my treat to myself, really, honestly. It's not that great, but I like it because it's sweet. It's not good for me, but I want to want to find a way to make it that way at home, so that I don't have to keep going out there to buy that. So I can just make it myself. I actually just thought of something. Hmm. Sorry, this is not the typical wisdom video, even though there's a, you know, uh, Chinmayananda uh, up on here. <laughs> he talked about coffee, I'm talking about coffee. So I do need to actually, um, need to find out what he means about these three gunas. Sattvic moods. Tamas and Rajas. These saints and sage have moments of Tamas. So I'm assuming these are uh, <clears throat> lapses in, like, I don't want to say perfection, but goodness out of people. They maybe develop, well, I won't say develop, but they they have um, maybe desires. I've noticed a desire can be a bad thing if it's something that control ends up controlling you. Your desire overcomes your rationale. And then the the other one to cause harm maybe to someone else because they may have cut you off or flipped you off or maybe they're speaking nonsense to you. Then this this anger comes up where you may have slapped the person <laughs> because you felt like it because of, they angered you. Maybe it's, it's it's one of those things. I do actually I need to look up this this thing. I'm kind of curious about. So what are these three aspects he's talking about? And I can only assume, I don't know if it's a matter of like good, bad, and something else. Hmm. I'm sorry, I wanted to watch coffee. He talked about coffee, I talked about coffee, then he talked about these three things. Has gotten sattvic moods. Saints. Human and and that's what I say that we are human after all we 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 have to understand we we will make mistakes. It's a matter of making sure that you don't intend to make mistakes. You don't try to make mistakes, and when you do, learn from it so you don't repeat those mistakes. Lesson learned from coffee. <laughs> Three things to mix together is coffee. Not not American coffee. What do you mean by not American coffee? What's American coffee? American coffee is anything they put in. Put there some black powder and keep burning. I mean, boiling it. I guess, yeah, you know, there's there's this thing that 
could, they say that American coffee turns it look like they burn the coffee a little bit too much. I'm a bit more of a mild to light, maybe. If you burn it like a really dark coffee, you might wanna you might wanna put a lot of milk in that one. Maybe go to the the point of uh like this one, a cup or a glass of milk and one drop of coffee. <laughs> if it's a, like really dark roasted coffee, maybe you wanna do that. Anyways, that's my reaction to Gita chapter fourteen verses verse five coffee example. I'm assuming um yeah. I'm assuming I thought it was gonna be a lot of, I was I was hoping for coffee it was coffee light coffee and now I gotta try Indian coffee because I did I did go to again I've been wanting to go back to an Indian restaurant especially the ones around here especially the one that I went to was amazing and I wanna I wanna try out all their stuff again anyways that's my reaction to this if you like my content please consider subscribing thumbs up thumbs down down below thanks for watching I'll see you in the next vid